Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video. Today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So, uh, we're on episode 194 of this series today, so we're getting nearer and nearer that 200 um, milestone and we're probably going to do a big live stream for that where we get through as many systems as possible within about two hours hopefully, so stay tuned for that. But with that all said and done, let's actually hop onto today's system. So we've got one system from the user Customize222 and their system is called the young solar system particularly time lapse so let's go ahead and uh let's see what they have prepared for us here so where i workshop i've already got it all set up so here it is okay what have we got here so young solar system uh, all right okay i thought it would have been like a version of our own solar system okay so this is a obviously a custom solar system in its young early days okay right so anyways onto the star itself so we'll hop straight into this so we've got roby here Mass is one sun, radius is uh, only just under 10 Jupiters, actually, so put that in suns. That's dead on one sun, actually, okay, nice. Uh, luminosity, so I mean, this, this is obviously uh, very, very similar to the sun here, probably a clone of the sun originally. Um, right, anyways, on to the first of the planets. So we've got this one over here. So we've got Roby B 2022B, so that is there. So as we can see, uh, pretty interesting colours. It's uh, um, 91 degrees, so pretty warm. Alrighty, okay, where are we heading next? There's some sort of comet orbit out there as well. That's good. It just says satellite. What is that? Okay, so it's literally as a satellite goes in and out. Alright, cool. So we've got that one. Okay, next planet, we've got this one over here. So again, another uh, another rocky planet. Not much going on there in terms of visuals, though. Okay, then we have another satellite just chilling there. Alrighty. Uh, alien spacecraft. There's one of those in there, so... That appears to be some sort of weird... That's one of those items. Okay, cool. Alright, um, let's go to this planet next. So, Lovu over here. So, there is that one. Alright, nice. Cool. Looking good. Um, so, we've done that one. Uh, next up, we've got this green one over here. Car Risk, I hope I'm saying that one right. This third one appears to be an Earth-like world. Got a very nice, vibrant green surface on there as well. Quite a nice mixture of colours, actually. I like the sort of more brownish-yellow areas and then the bright green. That is a good-looking Earth-like world. I do like that. Uh, let's see on the colours here. So, uh, where are I? Surface colours. See, where is that? Where do you actually change the surface colours? It should be on appearance, shouldn't it? I mean, I can't see layers. Oh, I see. There it is. Yeah. I'm just being silly. <laughs> so, yeah, high, middle, low. So you can see it's got the, the, the vibrant green, but then it's got the two sort of sandy yellow colours that kind of make quite a nice mix. And obviously it looks even more funky um, with all of that um, turned off. But with the clouds and atmosphere on it, it actually looks really, really good. I, have to say. I really like the colour blending um, on that one, I have to say. It's a good looking Earth like world. Uh, and then on the stats, 84 and 47. Cool. All right. Um, so then we have... Uh, Two, another two alien spacecrafts. Okay, that one looks like a series, actually. Okay. Uh, next planet out here. I'm not even going to try pronouncing the name of that, but yeah, here it is. So, as we can see, a more brownish world. Interesting colours on there. Okay. So, what's underneath here, then? Okay, so it's a brown atmosphere, mostly rocky. Yeah, interesting. Kind of reminds me of, like, a mix between Mars and Earth, almost, with the way that one looks. Pretty cool. Uh, Stat-wise, as we can see, pretty decent stats on it as well. I quite like that. It's a good looking world. Alright, uh, where is it? Alien satellites. Uh, we've done Lovu. Uh, we haven't done this yellow one over here yet. So Anask. I hope I'm saying that one right. So there it is here. So another um, rocky planet. Got quite um, quite pretty cool colours on that one actually. Uh, there we are. Okay, so that looks to be the inner sort of solar system area. Then we've also got moon over here. So that literally is but the moon. With some weird uh, stuff on it. Okay. Next up, we got Big over here. So that is literally in the name, just a big gas giant. Okay. Uh, then we got this one over here, so another uh, gas giant. Uh, not sure what that's meant to be, but another asteroid. Um, so just a ring particle there. We got another planet over here, okay. Pretty interesting green on that one, all right. Um, then we have Enax over here, so another gas giant. Not much gas, to, not much customization in terms of the gas giants. I have to say, I mean they're all just generic spawns by the looks of it. Um, then we have this one over here, so a more reddish-looking world. So that's pretty cool. 
Then we got um, our dick over here. So another um, another gas giant. Yeah, no no customization in terms of the gas giants. It's all just uh, generic ones. Uh, we've got another object over here. Fragment. And, uh, no, have we done no no? Another gas giant. Really basic looking. All right. So there that appears to be the whole system. Unless there's anything further out. There's a lot of ring particles if you look carefully. I mean, if we go to view mode and go to uh, always, you can see there's a lot of stuff. It's almost like an orc cloud kind of thing with all of those particles there. So there's all of those. I mean, they're covering the whole system actually. But he did say it's a young solar system. So obviously a young solar system would have a lot of material flying around. So yeah, okay, I quite like that. Cool. But I think what we can do is, obviously if it's a young solar system, why don't we evolve it a bit? Just see how things change. Because obviously as you can see, oh... Looks like this system wasn't meant to be after. Oh, we Okay. So you can see a lot of stuff got ejected there. Let's try that. Let's try running that again. Maybe we went too fast in the simulation. Handle it. Uh, we'll delete the particles as well just to make the simulation run a little better. So there we go. So let's see how this system runs. Does it stay in one piece or see, does, it, does it evolve over time? So let's see. I mean, my guess is it will evolve because there's a lot of objects chilling in that inner solar system area. So let's see how this evolves. Try and go for a decent simulation speed here. I mean, some of them have got retrograde orbits as well. Look, some of them are going the other way around. Okay. So let's see. So you can see the orbits are in there are slightly changing, but I mean, most of it appears to be behaving itself. Um, let's try and go. Uh, you can see yeah, the orbits are starting to change as we increase simulation speeds. So, yeah, it looks like after a long period of time, stuff will eventually change. But for the most part, it seems to be fairly... Um, in one piece but yeah there we are so that does it for today's solar system guys so that was the uh the young or the young solar system um time lapse um so that was submitted by the user customize at 222 so a massive thank you to them for submitting this solar system and yeah if that all sound done guys a massive thank you for watching this video and if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more helps on the journey to 24,000 subscribers and yeah if that all said and done as well stay tuned for the episode 200 because i'm sure we'll be doing that um yeah, probably in a few weeks, actually, as we are getting very, very close. But, yeah, that all said and done. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.